Daily Dose of Daryl Viewer's Digest, entitled Thanks, or parentheses, Giving Thanks. It's Season 2, Episode 8, from the People's Motivation Bureau, November 21st, 2022. You know, giving thanks is what we really focus on at Thanksgiving, but it should be something that's important every day of our life. It's a key ingredient for us, and we're going to take a deeper look each day at different components about giving thanks and how it's important and how it affects our lives and others. Monday. Maya Angelou is a poet, dancer, singer, activist, and scholar, and world-famous author. In this particular time of looking at Maya Angelou, we're going to look at one of her quotes. She said, Be present in all things and thankful for all things. Do you see the difference? Be present and thankful for all things. Sometimes we're really not there when we think we're there, and we aren't paying attention, we aren't focusing. And too often, we're not even grateful at all for what we have right before us. Joanna Gaines was born in Kansas. She ended up marrying Chip, her husband, and she started a show called Fixer Upper on TV, a reality show. You probably know her from there. One of her quotes is, Even in the trials of life, if we have eyes to see them, we can find good things everywhere we look. So not only... With Maya Angelou, we must be present and thankful for all things. Many times, trials come to try to cover our eyes. But if we have eyes to see them, we can find good things everywhere we look. So, be present and thankful in all things, even the trials of life. Tuesday. If you go back before Christ to 341 B.C. in Samos, Greece, someone named Epicurus was born. He was a Greek philosopher. He had many, quote, he dealt with simple pleasures, friendship. One of his quotes was, Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. So everything's relative. Don't miss what's happening right now, thinking about what could be. Robert Brault is another person that was a freelance writer, contributed to magazines and newspapers, and had a lot of quotes he put out there in life. In this one, he said, Enjoy the little things, for one day you may look back and realize that they were the big things. Too often, we're looking for big things in life and don't realize that the little things right around us are what's most important. So, don't miss what you have while desiring what you don't, especially the little things. Wednesday. Lionel Hampton had an orchestra and became known around the world for his first-class jazz. And as a composer and arranger... He wrote more than 200 works, including things like Midnight Sun. His quote for today is, Gratitude is when memory is stored in the heart and not in the mind. Of course, that means it's more than knowledge. It's an emotion. It's it's feeling. Most famous for her passionate novel, Jane Eyre, Charlotte Bronte published poems and novels, and she was the third of six children of Patrick Bronte, an Irish crofter's son who rose via Cambridge education. Now, her quote for today, Gratitude is a divine emotion. It fills the heart, but not to bursting. It warms the heart, but not to fever. Gratitude stored in the heart is like God warming from within. Thursday, Dr. Jill Bolte Taylor, a dynamic teacher, a public speaker, loves educating all age groups and academic levels, also corporations and not-for-profit organizations. She has many quotes. Today, the quote is, 
an attitude of gratitude goes a long way when it comes to physical and emotional healing. That attitude is so imperative for any time we have a weakness, a brokenness, or a sickness. Now, Neil Ash Maxwell was born in 1926. He was an American scholar, an educator, and a religious leader. His quote for the day is, We should certainly count our blessings, but we should also make our blessings count. It's important what happens with the blessings that we have received. So, the healing attitude of gratitude not only counts blessings, but also makes blessings count for something else. Friday. William Faulkner was born in 1897, and you may think, well, why would I know him? But he was an American writer known for his novels and short stories set in, like, Mississippi in the South, and most people have heard of many of his works. He is a Nobel Prize laureate. One of his quotes for today is, Gratitude is a quality similar to electricity. It must be produced and discharged and used up in order to exist at all. And gratitude's like that. It's not something you think about or conceptualize. For real gratitude to take place, it must be on the move like electricity going from one to the other place. William Arthur Ward, published in such magazines as Reader's Digest, Phi Delta Kappa, Science of Mind, and various Christian publications. His quote for today is, Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. So we see, gratitude is like electricity, it must be discharged And like a rap present, it must be given. Saturday. Most of you have probably heard of Anne Frank, Annalise Marie Anne Frank. Simple name. She was a Jewish girl who kept a diary. But this is the most powerful diary probably ever printed. She documented life in hiding under the Nazi persecution. And she celebrated for this diary and the way she described everyday life from her family hiding in a small attic in Amsterdam. One of her quotes for today is, no one has ever become poor by giving. What a great example for us. She gave her life as so many others did, but her spirit lives on and we actually are much richer because of it. When thanks is given, we become richer, not poorer. Sunday Summary and Study Questions Monday Be present and thankful for all things, even the trials of life. Tuesday Don't miss what you have while desiring what you don't, even the little things. Wednesday Gratitude stored in the heart is like God warming from within. Thursday, the healing attitude of gratitude not only counts blessings, but also makes blessings count. Friday, gratitude is like electricity. It must be discharged like a wrapped present that must be given. When thanks is given, we become richer, not poorer. Where have you shown gratitude in a recent trial in your life? Pause and reflect. What are some little things you may have taken for granted recently? Pause and reflect. What is something you are grateful for that is close to your heart? Pause and reflect. How has being grateful for one of your blessings impacted someone else? Pause and reflect. What is one way that you have shown your gratitude toward others? Pause and reflect. How have you been enriched by thanking others in your life? 
pause and reflect. This is Daryl R. Peebles, the man behind the microphone, bringing you something positive each day from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, both positive, personal, and professional. Remember, there are three divisions, digital, real life, and print. But in the digital, we have not only the YouTube channel, but the website, Zoom events, and much more. In the real life, we do pulpit supply, funerals, weddings, magic shows, keynote speakers, and more. And in the print division, not only books, but magazine articles, newspapers, and custom artwork. Locally ordered books from me can get signatures and special discount. This one is already out and about, helping others. Churches and pastors have special discounts. I appreciate you, your ideas and support. Keep them coming. These are other areas that I might be able to help you. And these are my contact points. This is Daily Dose of Daryl responding to the free and gracious gift of God. I am using humor, the art of illusion, modern technology, and decades of serving God and communities to work every day to uncover the beauty in all people and experiences coming my way, endeavoring to educate, entertain, and inspire. Each dose on this channel can help move us toward a better, healthier, and more informed mind, body, and spirit. I'm excited to be a small part of the expanding of our capacity to learn, love, and forgive, and together leave this world a better place for all. God bless you.